you came across this question in the jam exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says if the electronic configuration of an element is this so this element this is the electronic configuration and what is it 1s2 2s2 and lastly 2p5 how many unpaired electrons are there this question is very easy just watch closely you can actually solve this question okay because at the end of solving this question i'll give you your own practice question so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section so let's solve together so first thing when you see questions under this aspect there is something you must look out for and what is that you will look out for the orbital that was written last in the electronic configuration so this is the last orbital they talked about here and what is it 2p5 do you understand now i want to explain something to you now take note in chemistry we have different orbitals okay we have the likes of the s orbital we have the p orbital we have the d orbital and also we have the f orbital we have gh orbital but for the level of the jam exam this is where questions can actually come out from now this must be noted it must be noted here that whenever we are to draw the s orbital we are drawing just one box please take note it is very important okay so that you can be able to solve questions on this when you see them in the exam whenever you are to draw the p orbital you are to draw three boxes just take note now this must be noted about the s orbital the s orbital is a non-degenerate orbital meaning that it does not break it does not degenerate but for the p orbital is it is it a degenerate orbital yes it is though i already have a full video lesson on this particular aspect on my youtube channel so do well to watch that video lesson is on the topic called quantum numbers so that you can perfectly understand all of this but even if you watch this video definitely be able to solve a practice question when i give you your own so let's progress for the d orbital we draw five boxes okay how many boxes that's it we draw for the d orbital five okay one two three four so one two three four five you can see i've drawn how many five boxes whereby for the f orbital we draw seven boxes okay there are reasons to which we draw them but just know them now so one two three four five six so there are seven here one two three four five six seven so all these must be noted now for this particular question what was the electronic configuration ending with which orbital is not the p orbital yes so which part of the uh, explanation should i look out for i'll look out for the p orbital now this must be noted it must be noted here that each of the boxes occupies a maximum number of two electrons so there are something that should be inside and they call them electrons are you getting me now so one of them the maximum number of electrons can occupy is just two do you understand and now for this p orbital all of these numbers you are seeing on top of them they are called electrons okay so for this s orbital one s orbital how many electrons can you see here two two s orbital how many electrons can you see here two also what about the p orbital how many electrons can you see here five now also take note whenever we are to start filling all of these electrons inside these boxes i will not just fill them anyhow i will fill them singly i will fill them what singly this law i'm actually talking about was propounded by a scientist called Kuhn's. okay Kuhn's rule of maximum multiplicity so this law says that as we are about filling these electrons inside these boxes we are to fill them singly before pairing takes place because they are asking us to get the numbers of unpaired electron is very easy let's talk together i believe you understand what the word mean unpaired so when we are about getting the answer i will tell you i will explain better to you so we are having five electrons inside this p orbital so let's fill them singly first so we have the five and i said we have to fill them inside these boxes singly before pairing takes place so this is the first electron we'll take it up like this this one electron going up do you understand that's how you fill electron inside the boxes okay go watch my full video lesson on the topic called quantum numbers definitely you understand different aspects different concepts of this topic so do what to watch it on my youtube channel okay link will be here on my bio so let's progress so i filled in one electron so how many remaining four so let's fill another one okay 
and lastly one so how many have i filled in now i filled in three so remaining just two let's continue remember we said that each of the boxes takes a maximum maximum number of two electrons so we'll fill another like this okay four because we have filled one two three four and here should be five do you understand so we filled in the five electrons so looking at all of them so how many unpaired electrons can you see in this question very easy you look at the one that is unpaired i believe you understand what unpaired what unpaired mean so looking at this particular solution how many unpaired electrons can we see here just one this is the only unpaired electron these two guys were paired so we have one unpaired electron so the answer becomes option a so i believe that you understand how questions under this aspect are being solved without stress not difficult so right now i'll be giving your own practice questions to you solve and provide the answer in the comment section okay guys this is your own practice question you can see i've changed the electronic configuration so do well to provide the answer to this question looking for the numbers of unpaired electron in this element okay with that electronic configuration now if you find this video lesson helpful make sure you click the subscribe button to my channel if you're watching this video on youtube if you're watching it here on tiktok do well to click the follow button and also share with your friends thanks for watching to have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of this type of question i already have them on the chemistry masterpiece okay which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry so if you are preparing to write the jam exam this book is very very important for you now for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be on the screen